Hello, it's Mrs. Brett here, and I'm going to be showing you how to um, draw a picture of the Very Hungry Caterpillar um, by Eric Carle. And you can see the picture of um, the front cover of the book here. Um, so we're going to be creating this image. I'm going to be using colouring pens, but you can use pencils, that works just as well. Or you could use different um, pieces of paper to create the different colours. Um, and here is my piece of paper here. We're going to start here. Now, the first thing I want to do is make sure that I follow the outline that the hungry caterpillar has there. Um, otherwise, I may just end up drawing random circles, if that makes sense. So I'm going to draw that shape first. So we start at the bottom, really, down here. I'm just going to draw a line. So it goes up quite quickly along the top um, down and then just a bit of space for the head. So when I put my um, little shapes onto this, I know to follow that line, okay? I'm going to start with the bottom, and that's quite an easy shape. I'm just gonna draw a little bottom there, and that's going to be our, our smallest circle, um, the smallest little shape, really. It's not a circle. Um, so what I might, what I need to make sure I do is to carry on really close together when I draw each of the se uh, the sections of the caterpillar. OK, so they need to be almost squished together. They almost overlap in the picture. OK, so all you're going to do now is fill in each section of the caterpillar. And even if it doesn't look perfectly like every section in this caterp caterpillar here, um, it will look quite similar. OK. So some of them at the bottom, you can see overlap where it turns the corner. So I'm going to make sure that I get in lots of little shapes here and they're all kind of overlapping, really. We're going to go for a bigger one here, bigger section. So I'm just going to fill in the rest of my um, pencil line. And it's OK if you can see it underneath because we are going to be colouring in um, over the top of green. So it won't be too obvious. So these sections are really, really squashed together, almost overlapping. OK, so they need to be really squashed. And I've chosen this book um, mostly because I like the drawing, but this is a story that my parents used to read to me when I was a lot younger, uh, when I was little. So one, it's one that, one that I quite enjoy. So I'm going to go a bit bigger with my sections now. Um, I think the ones I've put here maybe are a little bit small, so I need to make sure I make, make them a little bit bigger from now on. Okay, but obviously um, you can rub them out and things if you're not happy. Um, but I'm not going to do that now. Okay, so they're a lot bigger at the top of the picture here, so I'm going to put some bigger ones in. Okay, I think I've waited to go bigger too, too late. As you can see, they're all quite squashed down here, but... We can go a bit bigger now. Okay. I've got a really big one here. And if they don't quite fit in, it's okay to have it smaller one section and it go bigger or the other way around, if that makes sense. Okay. So we're going big again to the side. These bits down here, I think mine are a bit small. So I'm just going to turn one of them into one, two of them into one. Do you see? Um, and make that one a bit bigger so that when I colour them in, you'll be able to see they're more, they will look a bit better. Okay, let's carry on up here. So we're getting slightly smaller here. This one's a bit thinner. Okay, and I've, what I've had to do with that one is. Um, it goes from big to small there, and that's fine. Just shows the movement of the caterpillar. Okay, nearly at the end of our, it's here. So we're just going to do the last one, and that's what we'll attach the head to. Okay. So we've got all our bits and pieces on the caterpillar here. I can just rub out. 
not really happy with this section. So what I'm going to do is combine some of the some of these together, which is fine. You can do that. So practice. There we go. Okay, that looks a bit better. And then I colour them in. You won't see that. That's fine. Okay. So now I'm going to add the head on. This is a slight, quite similar to the sections we've done, but it's slightly bigger. Okay. So we're going to go for a bigger head, and it comes down. And then it's almost a square bit at the bottom, and then join that up. Okay. Okay, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six legs to add on. Um, I'm going to start with the ones over here. So they're almost like little boots for the um, for the caterpillar. And they're not. All of them aren't actually touching, so I'm just putting them almost floating next to the caterpillar, that's fine. And then one at the front here. Okay, uh, I need to put the features in of uh, on the face of the caterpillar. So I've got a little nose there similar shape to the foot actually and then we've got some quite big eyes and then another bit inside the eye and we'll be able to see that better when we colour it in and then some antenna here okay so when we colour this in it will be really effective because there's some really good colours here um I've got some different colour greens that I'm going to use I think I want a light green, a dark green, and then kind of maybe a different colour green. I've also got a yellow that I could use and then a brown. So there for these bits around the outside. So I'm going to alternate my colours. Let's start with one green and then just carry on. I don't think my colours will be exactly like uh, the picture there, you might be able to get them to match better actually. And can you see where I um, messed up in terms of my shapes? It doesn't matter now because they're coloured in anyway. Okay, so I'm not perfectly alternating, I'm just doing kind of how I feel it could look. It looks quite good, yeah. Just making sure that I use the dark one quite often because that gives a real quite a different colour. Okay, and colouring all along here. You can spend a bit more time thinking about your colours. Um, I'm just making sure that I get all of them in. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop my colouring in of the green now and focus on some of the other parts. Let's have a look at the head. So for the head, we've got some dark green eyes in the middle. And this bit's quite important because that really distinguishes the face of the caterpillar. And then we've got the yellow bit outside of that. The nose is, I would say, a black kind of colour. Colour the nose in black. And now the quite distinguishing feature of the caterpillar is the red face. So I can colour the face, the face in red and that really show that really then you can really tell what you're drawing, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got also got the antenna, which is almost a purple colour, and then it's kind of yellow behind. So I'm going to do those antenna and then use the yellow behind it. Can you see that in the picture there? And can you actually see all the yellow around the outside? I'm going to put that in as well because I think that looks quite good. Just 
going around the outside with the yellow and top of the green creates almost like a shadow. And there are also these spikes coming off, and I think they'll add a bit more to my caterpillar. Those spikes are in lots of different colours, so we've got some blues and let me just zoom in a little bit. So we've got some blues and reds and bits like that. So let's have a go at doing those. Let's this blue. And they need to be really quite thin lines because they're supposed to look like little hairs. So I don't want really big thick lines when I'm doing that. I'm going to put the blue in first because then I can put the, the red in afterwards. So very thin lines. I go all the way across. I'm just going to add in the rest of my green as well. Finish that off. So then we can see the full effect of it right at the end. I haven't filled in my boots yet as well, so I need to do those. I need to do those as well. So the boots are green. No, not green. The boots are brown and yellow. Kind of a mixture. So I know a little bit of yellow first. And then I can add in the brown afterwards. So it's almost a mixture of colours on the boots. So that's why I'm just lightly using the brown. Okay. Let's just finish with our green. Nearly done. Just the last bit of green. And then I'm going to add my red hairs on. I think that will finish it off quite nicely. Okay, and remember that we want our hair to be nice and thin. So just adding these on now. Okay, and there we have it, the Hungry Caterpillar um, illustration by Eric Carl. Uh, so have a go. Enjoy.